So ladies and gentlemen, tuache kubeba ujinga hapa. Nimekuja leo ni kuelezea kwamba hawa wengi wa wanasiasa ama hawa wengi wa viongozi wetu wengi wao wanatubeba sisi kama wajinga na wanatubeba sisi kama mafala especially kutoka Kenya. Acha niongelele kuhusu 254 especially wale wale ambao ni viongozi ambao wengi wao baadaye wanakuja tena kwetu sisi kutulalamikia na kutuambia ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo yanakoseka ndani ya serikali. Wakati hao wenyewe hapo awali ama during that time wako kwenye hiyo serikali hiyo hiyo na bado wanakuja wanatuambia kwamba kuna hili na hili na lile linakoseka kwenye serikali Flan. And the crime of this man telling you the truth don't evict people without compensation Mr President Mr President don't overtax people you are killing them you are killing their businesses don't force a housing program on people if people do not want these houses don't force them My only problem with the president is just being truthful because nobody else can tell. It's a pure joke. Yaani ni mzaha mwingine waliajuu sana ambao ukiangalia pia wewe utajuazi kabisa hapa na chezo akili. We do understand very well that uh, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa ameweza kuwa kwenye serikali ndani ya miaka miwili so far mpaka sasa hii. Baada ya kwamba huu mzozano wote umekuja kuingiliana after yeye na William Samoe Ruto kukosana ndipo uh, ile bunge likaamua kumtimua baadaye alipona sasa hana mahali pengine pa kujitetea aliona kabisa hana mahali pengine pa kujitetea isipokuwa kuongea na wananchi ama kutafuta utetezi kutoka kwa wananchi na kajuazi kabisa yeye lazima sahi atafute njia ambayo wananchi watamuonea huruma lakini sasa mimi leo ni kwa hapa kukuongelesha wewe mwananchi na sio siko hapa ati ni kuambie ya kwamba hafai kuhurumiwa lakini kwa hapa ili ni kueleze ule ujanja ambao wanasiasa wengi sana wanaotumia ambao sisi tunabebo ujinga ama sisi tunabebo fala kwa sababu gani the same mwanasiasa ambaye anakuja leo anatuambia kwamba ayule mwenzake anafanya hivi na hivi na hivi ama anakosea hichi na hichi na hichi ama anastahili kufanya hivi na hivi na hivi the same mwanasiasa alipokuwa yuko ndani ya siasa ama alipokuwa yuko ndani ya serikali ama but that time ambapo yeye ndo alikuwa kiongozi ama yeye ndo alikuwa anapiana amri ya uongozi ama yeye wakati huo alikuwa yuko vizuri na rais hatukua isikia hivi hatukua isikia gashagwa by that time ambaye ameshake hand ndani ya mwaka mzima ama baada ya miaka miwili mizima kwa sababu mwenyewe amekuja ametuambia kwamba amepitia shida ndani ya miaka miwili toka achukue uongozi kwa nini ile time akiwa ndani ya serikali ama kwa nini by that time ambao yeye yuko vizuri hivi na wina msamoe ruto hakuweza kujitokeza hadharana na kutuita kama wana Kenya na kutuambia mimi namwambia rais hivi na hivi na hivi lakini hafuatii he was supposed to tell us not like asubirie mpaka mambo yameenda mabaya ama asubirie mpaka vitu vimekosekana kabisa ndio kuja anza kutuambia kwamba uh, mimi nilikuwa nikimwambia hivi rais mimi nilikuwa nikisema hivi rais mimi ubaya wangu mimi nilikuwa ni huu na huu mimi kili... where were you by that time you okay tuko tunakuhitaji ili wakati sisi tunateseka tunataka msaada wako that's the way the time you need you know the time kwa tunakuhitaji sio sahihi sahihi wewe unajitafutia tumbo lako People have to understand this. I don't know why people are going to jinga ujinga male male hivi. Huyu mtu sasa hivi imefika wakati sasa hivi mwanasiasa yajitafutia yeye mwenyewe kwa sababu mambo yake ameona yameharibika na sio gashago peke yake. The same person ambaye William Samoe Ruto by that time ambaye pia alikuja kana confrontation na uh, Uhuru Kenyatta is the same guy ambaye alikuwa kwenye serikali zaidi ya miaka saba, miaka nane afu mshashi kwa katoka kwenye serikali akaanza kucriticize ile serikali ambayo yeye mwenyewe alikuwa yuko ndani. Na Kenya wengi tulibobo ujinga hapo kwa sababu gani the same person ambaye ametoka serikali na, na miaka minane amekuwa na hiyo serikali miaka nane, miaka tisa. amekuwa ndani hiyo serikali alikuwa akihudumia hiyo hiyo serikali kama vice president alafu akaja kwetu akaja akatuambia kwamba ile serikali iko na makosa haya na haya na haya na haya ile serikali haijawafanyia hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi lakini mimi mkinipa kura nitawafanyia hivi na hivi na hivi tunasahau ya kwamba yeye pia alikuwa kwenye hiyo serikali He was included in that Uhuru uh, Kenyatta government ambayo ilikuja ikatufelisha wengi na tukaona kwamba kabisa uh, serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta ilikuwa inatufelisha kabisa lakini tukamwamini ya kwamba ile serikali ilikuwa ni ya Uhuru not knowing that yeye pia alikuwa miongoni mwa ile serikali because he was a vice president of Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta na hiyo serikali by that time ambayo tulikuwa tunapiga kura ama before tupige kura za 2022 tulikuwa tunaona kabisa ile serikali inatukoroga tunaona kabisa ile serikali sasa imetufika hapa 
hatuna mahali kwa kuenda tena kwa sababu gani imetufikisha mwisho but yeye akakuwa mjanja akafanya nini akajitoa na akaja akatafuta nini ile human yani anatafuta kama kama huruma fulani vile tumhurumie ili tumpe uongozi ndio azidi kutua na sisi kwa sababu tuko wajinga safirullah si tukani kila mtu lakini kwa sababu sisi tulidanganyika kipuzi tukaamua tufanye nini tufuate ule mwenendo wake na tukampa kura yeye sasa not knowing that uh, ule zile shida tulizotokana nazo wengi wetu tulikuwa tunajua labda akija atazitatua kumbe ndio ya zidabu zi triple mara nne yake sasa inaambia ni kitu gani ambacho William Samuel Ruto amekifanya mpaka sasa hivi tunavyoongea mpaka sasa hivi miaka mitatu inaenda kuisha yeye ndani ya uongozi wake ni kitu gani ambacho amekifanya ambacho wewe kama mkenya unaweza kujivunia ukasema kwamba mimi nilimpigia William Samuel Ruto kura ya kwa rais na nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu alhamdulillah kwa sababu alifanya hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi kitu gani mpaka sasa hivi tunavyoongea kama si uongo mwingi kama si kupanga kwingi kama si kutoa maspeeches ya there's no way William Samuel Ruto amena ametoa speech kama ipo niambieni nikaitafute nione hakuna mahali William Samuel Ruto amena ametoa speech yoyote ile hata kama umemuita kwenye birthday hata kama kwenye birthday U, mazishi harusi birthdays mikutano si uh, mashujaa day si nini day si anywhere this guy goes lazima tena utasikia tumepanga bilioni ngapi tumepanga trilioni ngapi the other day alikuwa kule sio wapi kule lakini akaambwa kuhusu ile university the guy just said that tumepanga bilioni fulani hapo zitaingia zitengeneze mswada mashujaa day alienda kule tumepanga bilioni fulani ziingie kwa wale county zifanye hivyo so this guy has a lot of millions and billions and trillions ambazo yazipanga tu yazipanga lakini atuzioni zikitumika since his campaign toka wakati wake wa kampeni yeye alikuwa ahadi yake kubwa ni kwamba tumepangia vijana milioni fulani tumepangia mama mboga bilioni fulani tumepangia vijana wa boda boda bilioni fulani na sisi tumpigia tu makofi tu. kila kenda churches pia kanisani pia tumepangia mapasta bilioni fulani na milioni kila mahali ambapo wataenda lazima atapanga milioni lazima atapanga bilioni believe me or not but shida let me tell you this because at the moment the way hivi ambao ambao tumefinywa sasa hivi unajua tumefinywa hivi hakuna mali kuna hakuna mali napumulia one of my funny side alikuja ka comment kwenye video akasema kwamba mimi nilikuwa nimejiona na nimefinywa sana Kenya ndio ikabidi nikaamua nikasafiri zangu Arabuni yani nikatafute mwokoto wa Arabuni nikaja nikamwambia fadhali wewe ambaye ulifinywa ukapata paka zile za passport ambazo ulipata ukasafiri Arabuni wenzako wamefinywa paka pale mahali pa kufinyia pa mkosekana tena hawana tile pesa kwamba wanaweza tafutia passport wakasafiri kwa Arabuni ili wakapata kujiokoa well, let me tell you something that uh, sasa hivi tunavyoona sasa hivi It's like almost 80% of us from Kenya tuko na ile assurance ya kwamba hata iweje hakuna vinyenyeza nikampigia William Samuel Ruto kura tena arudi pale. But believe me or not, ikishafika 2027 ama 2026 coming. Inshallah tukiwa wazima ibidi nilai. Tukiwa wazima sote kwa mgogoro kwa nguvu za Mwenyezi Mungu. Utashangaa, utashika kichwa hivi useme what? Utashangaa my friend kwa sababu the same person ambaye unaona anafinya watu is the same person ambaye atakuwa anatembea na helicopter akipiga campaign na watu akimpiga makofi i'm telling you hivi hivi atenda atagawanya pesa na uongo mwingi because William Samuel tu ni yule yule ambaye alikuwa akitutesa hapa moja akiwa yeye na nani na uhuru Kenyatta na time sasa hivi tunaweza tukasema ile serikali ya uhuru ilikuwa na fadhali mara 20 kuliko hii ya, uh, ya William Samuel Ruto lakini hatujui by that time William Samuel Ruto pia alikuwa kwenye ile serikali ndio alikuwa mwana chini wa uhuru Kenyatta baada ya kwamba wamekosana after ile uh, handshake ndio uhuru uh, nani uh, uh, William Samuel Ruto akajitoa na baada ya kujitoa ndo akaanza ku criticize ile serikali it's just the same way as we are seeing now gashagwa na pia baada ya kwamba ameona kabisa amefikishwa ukingoni yatolewa Dona pia anza nini yuanza ku criticize ile serikali ambayo yuko. But he was there. But that time ambayo yuko kule hakuweza ku criticize. Tunataka mtu akiwa kwenye ile serikali sahi. Sahi ukijiona uko ndani ile serikali. Criticize hiyo serikali tukuone ya kwamba wewe hautaki ule upumbavu ambao unaendelea ndani ile serikali. Lakini usisubirie ukazwe kule juu ama ujione umetolewa alafu uje utuambie hapa ya kwamba ile serikali iko na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi ndio maana amenitoa maxis. We know we are not going to listen for you. Hatusha kusikiliza. 
tutakusikiliza wakati uko ndani ile serikali unajaribu kuirekebisha while you are there in si after kwamba umekuwa ejected baadaye ndio uje tuambia kwamba eh ni hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi utakuwa ni unafik so guys tufungue ni akili tufungue ni macho tuweze kuona ule kora ambao unafanyika na wao na siasa yetu kutoka Kenya it is all it is guys this is Kijiji please make sure you subscribe like and share this video